A decades-old agreement that impacts Washington's Columbia River is up for talks, and Keen 5's Glenn Farley explains how the recent meeting between the White House and the Canadian Prime Minister could impact those negotiations. Most people aren't aware of it, but there's a 52-year-old treaty that governs the Columbia River, a treaty between the United States and Canada. And remember, Canada is where this river starts. Now U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell is urging Canada to join in a process of modernizing that treaty. And the Columbia is a source of massive amounts of hydro, and that's just the start. Let's get at the table and start discussing how we modernize this system so that we can have predictability for the future. While traditional concerns have focused on power and flood control, what's new is how record drought and concerns over climate change can affect the future of salmon and the environment. I'll be back.